Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're back at City Walk again in Hollywood. They actually opened up the studio store. I saw on my Instagram earlier that somebody posted it. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what kind of merch they have in there. Look, so when you first enter City Walk, we have like this little pop-up shop over here where you can buy sanitizer and like hats and lanyards and just a bunch of souvenirs. And like I said, you can buy wet ones, sanitizers and masks. It's pretty awesome. All right, so upon entry, they do have hand sanitizer. And looks like Kleenex and then sign. Here's a close look. This is uh, facing the front window, or the side window actually. And like they have like this prop fire hydrant. And they have all these Secret Life of Pet merch shirts. They have this Pets Play set. More plushes. I'm not gonna touch anything, I see prices, just because I wanna, you know, I'm sure they're limiting people touching things. But like, this dog is $24.95. Pretty cool. This movie was released uh, out of the th outside of the theater, which is pretty cool. That's what got Universe in a lot of trouble with uh, a lot of the theaters, but I like to have the merch here. This little plush is $15, it's crazy. So right now we're in the uh, Harry Potter section of the studio store. Oh man, I missed this. Like, I mean, most people have been here since like when they closed. I haven't been here in so long. Last time I was here at Universal was uh, was uh, HHN last year, so it's been a while. We got Hedwig. We got pens, like feather pens. Well, quills, I guess. We got a couple plushes here. They got Fox, the Phoenix. That toad the sings. I think that's Hermione's cat. And then Buckbeak. I don't know what that is. That's from Fantastic Beasts. I'm not sure what that is, but I, I've seen the movie, but I haven't seen it that many times. Check out this Jurassic World merch. It's a really cool sweater. And then they have the uh, shirt that matches it. And they have this awesome blue uh, plush. That's so cool. Evan, if you guys don't know this, my son, Evan, he loves dinosaurs. And it's seventeen dollars, but I think we're gonna go ahead and take it for him though. He needs it. That's cool how they have like a like a like. It's cool how they have like two different options if you want Jurassic World merch or Jurassic Park merch. They still have actual Jurassic Park merch, like this T-Rex and like these keychains. This bucket hat is pretty cool. Slayers for kids. And then they have more T-Rexes. This cool sweater for kids. I've seen like this merch in uh, other videos that people put up from like Universal Orlando. So it's pretty cool to see what the Universal Studios is. It's all new line. It's like Pride. It's a Pride line. Got these cool cups. Got magnets, pins, keychains. This cool lanyard. Love is Universal. They even have a mask to go with that, which I'll show you guys in a bit. We have mugs. And they have this cool baseball tee right here. Look, inside of the actual studio store itself, this is the uh, Simpsons end of the store. They have hand sanitizer. And it's empty. Okay, there's nothing there. I take it back. <laughs> at, least, at least they make you think you're safe. No, I'm kidding. Look, they have like this. Duff beer, like a uh, coffee cup, and they have like this cool sweater. This sweater has a bottle opener. How cool is that? It's like an opening in the middle, too. Yeah, it also has like a pocket in the middle as well, like Edna mentioned. Look at this Homer mug. It says Universal Studios inside. It's just a big yellow mug. Wait, what does it say? So just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't understand. Right. See, they also have these uh, social or physical distancing signs throughout the whole store, so. They're doing their part. Except I'm not sure what's up with the sanitizer. I don't know why it's empty, but it is our first day, so just give them a break. And then finally, for the main thing I was here for, which I'm taking home today for sure, is $3, as you can see right there. It's hand sanitizer with no logo on it. That kind of sucks, but let's see. It is 70% alcohol, like what they recommend. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these up, and then one of these face masks. There's two different kinds. There's the Love is Universal, and then just black and white. I'm gonna go ahead and get the black and white. 
It's like only. What you're gonna get? And then Ed is gonna choose the same exact one. One mask, it is $8, and if you buy three, it's 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and get three. So we're exiting the uh, studio store, and I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if this one has sanitizer, and it does. All in all, I gotta say, they did a very good job here. Um, it wasn't too packed, because that's when many people know about the store being open yet. But uh, the employees are very helpful. Um, they were very attentive too. Every five minutes they were asking if we needed any help or you know, like if we looked confused, they would jump in and like help us out. So I'm really thankful for that. I did purchase one of these masks, which I like. Um, one of the employees were telling me that uh, it's reversible. So on the inside it's just black. So if you wanted to just do like an all black mask, you can do that. Or if you want this look, you can just wear it like that, which is pretty comfortable. Uh, the ear loops stretch a little bit. Um, the whole mask kind of stretches. It's pretty like, uh, it's pretty versatile. So don't, don't worry if you have like a, like a bigger face or like your ears, whatever, like it, it, it'll, it'll work, don't worry. Face, they do have sizes, uh, medium, small, and large, so, or small, medium, and large, so yeah, don't worry. And then they have that pretty awesome deal, which is three for 20 or one for eight, so it just made sense to buy three of them. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal, I'm not gonna lie. And then here's the sanitizer that I bought. Uh, it's pretty cool. It was, I think, $3 or something like that. Um, I'm a little bit sad though, because uh, Universal Orlando had their actual, like, uh, like their own picture on there, whereas this one is just blank. But at least it is 70%, which is what matters. And it's got this cool clip. So you can clip it to like your, your pants or your backpack or wherever. One thing I would like to add that they should work on is just make sure that all your sanitizing stations inside are filled because uh, especially right now, you want to make sure that, you know, everyone's as safe as possible. Um, besides that, they did a really good job. The, the sanitizing station, when you walk in, is filled so you can just put your hand in and, and get some. Uh, I didn't check the other ones, but I think I did see like two or three other sanitizing stations that inside the store but uh, the one I did check unfortunately didn't have any in there so just make sure those are filled just in case. You guys should come as fast as you possibly can because this is not going to be this empty pretty soon. Once everyone finds out how like that it's reopened, it's going to be very packed. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here right in front of the uh, Universal Studios entrance because hopefully that'll be the next thing opening over here. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please leave a big like. Uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought about it and I'll see you guys in the next video.